So I was going to try to come outside and run my RC four-wheel drive bully I picked up at USTE, but my course is literally a sheet of ice. So instead of running the bully right this second, I think I'm going to use my RC four-wheel drive diamond plate and make some new plates for it. I'll watch this sled time. Slides right on down on that slippery. Just nothing but ice. So I'm gonna make uh I think I'm gonna make some new shell casings for it out of the RC4 wheel drive diamond plate and then we'll bring it back out. That's better. Better than these plastic, flimsy plastic ones. Now this RC4 wheel drive diamond plate is nice to work with if you've never worked with it before. Oh, it's relatively easy to work with because you can cut it with any scissors. So like these are an industrial scissor. And I mean, literally, you just cut it right out. So all you have to do is lay your part on, trace it with a pen or a pencil, and then cut it out with a pair of scissors and drill your holes. I mean, almost any pair of scissors will work. Uh, scissors will work. These Look at these ones here. These are just medical scissors. And you got to squeeze a little bit harder, but they'll cut it. So pretty much if you got a pair of scissors, unless they're really terrible, they should cut through this stuff. So I just did that, traced that out, and then uh, added some stickers, gave it a little bit of flair, its own little personality. That's about the only thing you can do with these style of rock buggies is add some stickers and some different panels because other than that, they all just kind of look like frame spiders and don't have a whole lot of personality. But they do an incredible job at driving and crawling, so if you're looking for that, that's the way to go. Uh, I also made this battery tray. The original battery tray was just this little guy, and it actually mounted right here like this, and you couldn't turn the tire all the way without it hitting the battery, and you couldn't fit any kind of battery on there, just a little tiny, tiny thing, and I wanted to at least be able to run a 1500 milliamp. Well, uh, I know crawler batteries last a long time, but you're running two motors, and this has dig and a bunch of other stuff, and it's got quite a bit of electronics stuffed in this little box. So I made this, and I can put a 1500 milliamp on there, no problem. And I got a little Velcro strap that goes over so I can put my balance port back and out of the way. But I think that's going to work out a lot better for me. And it, it still sits right on the front. It's a little high, but it's not hurting anything. It's out of the way, and I can get full steering. So hopefully we go back out there, and our course will be thawed out, and I can actually run this thing. I'm pretty excited to run it. I know they're known for doing incredible things. And this one does have some flat spots on the tires I'm trying to work out. It'll take some time, but I'll get them. So, well, uh, it'll be no time for you, but I don't know when it'll be for me. Hopefully in the next 24 hours, and I will catch you out on the course. Actually raining ice off the trees right now. So we are getting closer. Another couple more hours of this, and we should be able to hit the course. All right, finally the course has thawed out and we are ready to run this daggone bully. So it's fired up and uh, let's just get going. These tires were so dry, I hit them with WD-40. You can see how dry they are again. I'm going to have to do it twice. Let's try this dig out and see how it works. Interesting. That's pretty cool. I've never had a rig with dig before. That would have flipped everything else I have going right there like that. All right, let's hit another troubled spot and see what happens. try that dig out again that is super handy <laughs> Get 
guess I'll need to come up a little bit further. <laughs> that is just insane articulation. I'm telling y'all, all my other stuff would have flipped doing some of the stuff I'm doing on this run. All right, I think that is going to do it uh, for the first run of this uh, <laughs> RC four-wheel drive bully. I am mind-blown impressed. It did crazy, crazy things. It just, I don't have other vehicles that hang onto the ground this good. I mean, this, this thing's almost impossible to flip, it seems. They could use a stronger servo in the front, and I can take care of that easily enough. But look at that, just incredible the stuff it flexes over. But thanks for watching, everybody. This is the first run of the Bully, and you will definitely be seeing more of this rig. Uh, hit that like on the way out. would greatly appreciate it. helps me out. And just have a great day, and I will catch you all on the next video.